What's up guys, the final specifications of AMD's upcoming Radeon RX 7600 8GB GPU have been revealed and it has a higher power rating than NVIDIA's RTX 4060 series. The AMD Radeon RX 7600 8GB is considered to be a mainstream graphics card based on an entry-level RDNA 3 GPU. This RDNA 3 GPU is known as the Navi 33 and is the smallest and the only chip in the family that utilizes a 6 nanometer mono design. Although we have known the core configuration of the chip for months now, video cards managed to obtain the official specifications from the reviewer's guide. Starting with the details, the AMD Radeon RX 7600 graphics card will feature the Navi 33 XL GPU, which incorporates 13.3 billion transistors in a 204 square millimeters day. This chip is 14% smaller than Navi 23 GPUs featured on the Radeon RX 6600 series. The chip offers a total of 16 WGPs, 32 compute units, 32 ray tracing units, 64 AI accelerators and a total of 2048 stream processors. The clock speed has been configured at 2250 MHz game and 2625 MHz boost, which delivers a maximum compute performance of 21.75 and 43.5 T-flops. As for the memory, the AMD Radeon RX 7600 graphics card will feature 8GB of GDDR6 memory running at 18GB per second speeds across a 128-bit interface. The GPU also comes packed with 32MB of Infinity Cache and both combined delivered an effective bandwidth of 476.9GB per second, 288GB per second from the GDDR6. The Navi 33 GPUs features a PCIe 4.0x A interface due to the entry-level chip design. Power will be provided through a single 8-pin connector for up to 165 watts TDP. Now, based on the power figures, it looks like Nvidia will retain the efficiency leads in the GeForce RTX 468 GB, which is the direct competitor to the RX 7600, will feature a TGP of 115 watts with actual average gaming performance as close to 100 watts. Even the RTX 4060 Ti, which is faster than the RX 7600, as seen in benchmark leaks, consumes lower power of 160 watts with average gaming power rated at just 140 watts. The AMD Radeon RX 7600 8GB graphics card will be available in both reference and custom models when it launches this week for a price of around $300. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Peace out.